Hey guys, I'm Detective Jared Timmons from 77th Division, and today I'm gonna show you guys on patrol how you can freeze or save Facebook and Instagram accounts. Cause don't you hate it when you show up to court and the guy looks like this? But in real life, he actually looks like this. Social media preservation can be used from anything from sex cases to murder cases. And today, we're gonna show you how to do it. First, you're gonna go online to facebook.com slash records. Check the I am authorized law enforcement box. Then click request access and enter your department email. Then hit submit. Now go to your department email. Make sure you check your focus and other inboxes as it could be sent to either one. The email is gonna be from Facebook or Instagram and it's gonna be titled records. Click the link and it'll take you back to Facebook. Now you fill in all of your information. Once that's complete, hit okay. Now at the top of the page, click preservation request. You can enter in either your incident number or DR number to give you access. Below that, you'll find a drop-down menu. Make sure to select either Facebook or Instagram for the account that you're trying to preserve. Then select the date. This is gonna be the date that the victim or witness told you that they last observed the incriminating evidence online. Now you're gonna enter in your suspect's information. For Instagram, just simply enter in the username. For Facebook, enter in the full URL. And remember, don't use your personal account as you may pop up on the suspect's feed as friends you may know. Make sure to set up a dummy account. It's easy to set up a dummy account, and if you need help, you can always refer to your local area detectives. You can also obtain the suspect's URL through using the victim's account, of course, with the victim's permission. The other thing you can do is you can have the victim or witness email you the full URL or username to your department email. Now, once you see the date and name pop up, that's how you know Facebook or Instagram has located your suspect. Now all you have to do is check the box that you attest that you're law enforcement and hit submit, and you're done. This is a great tool for all law enforcement. Remember, you're not messing anything up. All you're doing is preserving evidence so that when we go back and write a search warrant, the evidence is there. If you have any questions, contact your local area detective. And remember, be safe.